Hey guys, I do want to just touch base real quick, and I want to be mindful and respectful of everyone's time. I enjoy you guys being on the show. Um, I do want to touch base real quick with uh, some thoughts, your thoughts on the return of the NBA. Um, and also, if, when, if and when the NBA returns, will there be an asterisk next to this year's champion based off of circumstances due to COVID-19? So I know we're switching gears a little bit. I'm going to start with, uh, let me start with Matt. I'll go Manny and I'll follow up with London. Your thoughts on the return of the NBA and this, this year's NBA champion, will there be an asterisk next to that, that team's name? There could very well be. I want to say no because I'd love to see everybody come out and just play at their top level and have a great tournament, if you will. But there's so many variables. Like, is a top player going to catch COVID and have to sit out some big games? Is there going to be a team that gets hit? with a COVID bomb and six guys on the team have to sit out. Uh, is Greg Popovich, Mike D'Antoni, uh, Alvin Gentry, these are guys 69, 70, 72 years old. Are they going to be allowed to be on the sideline? They're saying they don't even know if they're going to allow them on the sideline right now. There's so many variables. So if these things happen, I mean, I, I'd like to say that there isn't going to be an asterisk because whoever wins this, it, it's going to be a true – you know, battle of attrition to show that you were committed. And, you know, you, I think the biggest thing in this will be teams can come together and maybe um, the camaraderie to go to games together, sit in the crowd and, and watch games together and go golfing together and have that, that college feel, that college atmosphere. I think that'll be the team that, that has a lot of success. And my last thing I'll say about it is, if it plays out where the teams that we think are the best teams make it to the finals and make it and win, the, whether it's the Lakers or the Clippers or the Bucks or, you know, one of the top teams wins, then I think it worked. But if you got a team that, that, you know, ends up winning that nobody expected, it's probably because it's a fluke. It's not because, you know, they, they're the better team or, you know, that's how I feel. I'm going to ask you to go on, out on the limb. If you had to make an OG call, that's the OG. The Boston Boston. Celtics. <laughs> You're picking the Celtics. Oh, I forgot. Boston. The Boston Celtics are the best basketball team in the history of the NBA. So I would have to defer to the Celtics. Okay. I'm not biased. Okay. Well, let me <laughs> just say this. Here at Straight No Chaser, we encourage everyone to drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> just went on the limb with the Celtics. <laughs> we encourage everyone to drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> my man, Matt. My man, Matt. <laughs> Manny, how about you? So first of all, I mean, the, the, the return of the NBA, I think is, you know, as long as everything goes as planned, I know there's all the, the stuff with Kyrie going on right now in the Player Association, but um, it's great for our country, I think. I mean, everybody needs something right now. I mean, I think even if you're not a big basketball fan, you're going to become a basketball fan in, in, in August, um, which is going to be great. You know, it's going to be good for the game. Um, and, I, and the NBA, no one can handle it better than them. They're, they're going to they're gonna do it to the best of their ability, and it's going to be great. Um, as far as the asterisks, I think, like Maddie said, I think it's going to depend on, on who wins it. I think there's three or four teams, and if they win it, they, I don't think there'll be an asterisk because they had a legitimate chance going in. Um, I do think, like he said, there's so many variables, but injuries, I think injuries are going to be huge, maybe, maybe just as huge as the COVID because you got guys that are, are used to being in top condition, you know, going into that point in the season. And now you're asking them to, because they, they, they'll, they'll tell you, they play at another level in the playoffs. Yeah. So for them to that mentality is, I think you're going to see a lot of tweaks and injuries, maybe, hopefully not major injuries, but guys being out and being out key games. And, you know, if a guy like LeBron is, is, is out, that guy's never hurt. You know, if he's out for, for a game six and, and they lose a series on a fluke, you know, then, yeah, there might be a little asterisk there. But, uh, you know, I think all in all, it's going to be great for everybody in our country just to have something to watch other than, like, uh, stone throwing on ESPN to Ocho. <laughs> and one more thing. Uh, I think it'll be interesting to see which guys, like, sneak outside the bubble to, to, to go visit, you know, some import. <laughs> <laughs> because they're going to be finding people for this type of stuff. So... Who can stay the most disciplined, you know? Yep. Yeah. You know, one of the interesting things that had come up, um, I'm sorry, before I move, before, before I share that, Manny, who was your pick um, to, to win it? 
I mean, my, my pick going into the season and, and going into this, like I said, without any crazy things happening, would have to be the Lakers. The Lakers? Yeah, I, I thought they were going to win going in. And, and I'm not a Lakers fan by any means. I'm a, I'm a LeBron fan. Uh, he used to be in Miami, and, and I coached his kids. So, I mean, I, I'm a LeBron fan, and I think he's the best player in the league right now. And with them getting Anthony Davis, I, I don't know. I don't know that there'll be anybody that could beat them truly in a seven-game series. 